So this patient is really interesting. He had a surgery. After the surgery, the whole back pain is so much better. However, the problem is that he has the numbness pain from the left side of his body down from gallbladder meridians, which you know why I say that is important for us. Gallbladder meridian with the lower back pain and numbness radiating down from the gallbladder meridian down to the knee. Also related a little bit above the knee with the stomach meridian, uh, stomach meridian, foot yang ming. Then skip the knee down to the side of the leg at the um, gallbladder meridian again. Pass the ankle, go to the bottom of the foot. So you know that you understand the whole thing needs to be taken care of. 62 years old gentleman, I'm gonna just write down quickly so you guys have all the information. 62 gentleman, left side, low back surgery. About six to eight months ago, he didn't really give me exactly. He doesn't even remember that. And uh, that's okay, It's to us it doesn't really matter. And radiating pain. Down the lake. GB meridian, gallbladder. And the little bit, little bit at stomach. Okay? And then skip the knee, no knee, no knee pain. Then lower leg, also a gallbladder, and skip the ankle, ankle is fine. Then it's the bottom of the foot. So do you guys remember how to do Dr. Tan's $2 million lower back pain treatment? If you don't, I'll give it to you. I know. I know <laughs> half a million only. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's in, enough for me. <laughs> All righty. So now I'm going to give you Dr. Tan's $2 million. Okay. It's $2 million. So, Yao Tong, five. Okay. That including Ling Gu. Da bai. Okay, that will be on. Um, I just pick the hand like that. Okay, there's no specific reason. I will tell you when to use the right side with the lingual yao tone five or the left side. Right now, I'm just going to give you the pattern so you are not confused. Okay, this is not the only way. All right, please remember that. And then you do long five. 2 a means 2 ashi. Please remember that's how I note, okay? If you have any question, this is, I put 2 ashi. Part 3, 1, 2, 2 ashi. It depends how much they do need, okay? Now, after that, we will do this right here is UB40. Dr. Tan's gallbladder point. And we also have stomach 36, okay? Now, here, what do we do? We can do two ways on this lake. The right, this is left. So on the right foot, I usually can do kidney three or kidney seven or both of them. Sometimes I do kidney 10 up and down, three ashi, it depends on the condition. And then I will also do, sometimes do uh, Dr. Tan's liver point. Okay, this is his $2 million combo. So you see the balance is a long balance UB. 
And then you can also see we have kidney here can balance with large intestine. And then you can see liver can balance with gallbladder. And then you can see this balance is beautiful because the Yao Tong 5 covers all the yang meridians in the hand. So lung can balance large intestine, heart can balance with small intestine, <laughs> almost forgot. <laughs> so that would be system number three, right? And then gallbladder and liver, system number three, right? And then kidney and UB, system number three. And then you can also see that can also diagonally balance each other, liver, lung, system number five, heart and kidney, system number one. And then you can see UB, balance small intestine, stomach balance large intestine, Gallbladder balance, San Jiao. So you can see it's beautiful balance with this beautiful shape, right? You can see the beautiful truss right there. So now you know why are they doing, why, are, why it is so important. And he is a blonde hair man. It's my favorite with blue eyes. Now he's happy because I just did it all the treatment for him. However, there is another thing we need to do if we have somebody comes in with radiating pain down the leg, what do we do? We need to add san cha. That's a quick and dirty way, right? Where, which side do we add san cha? Do you guys know? Hmm? I didn't see anybody typing to me. What will be the way that we can do radiating pain down the leg and down the arm? There is one combination from Master Dong is called Santa. And I get so, so much benefit from this after I took Yang, uh, Dr. Yang Weiji's class. So I just want to share that with you. It's a great class. You guys got to do it. Santa, why is Santa so important? Right here, because they can treat the radiating pain down the lake. So at the very beginning, I only do Santa. Okay, so now that you have this pattern right now. So now I'm going to show you how did I do it? Okay, how did I do it with this treatment with this gentleman that he has a lower back pain on the left side, right? So if his lower back pain on the left side, which is pain is right here. Pain. Oh. Pain is right here. Pain. So you know... Ling Gu Da Bai Zhong Bai Yao Tong Five needs to put it at the opposite side. So this is perfect. So right here. Okay, so now we already know the step number one. Okay, step number one. We know the low back pain is GB and you be a little bit stomach. So what did I do step number two? I use this arm, which I circled it. So I use it on the opposite side of the meridian on the right arm because it's on the left side is the problem. So the right arm is my focus. Right arm is my focus. I'm going to use the right arm to do what? Yao Tong Five, right? That's a quick and dirty way. And I do Ling Wu combo. This is the same, okay? Yao Tong Five, Ling Wu combo is the same. I will show you exactly how that works. That's how I picked the point to start with. And then I did it San Cha sometimes, okay? I using, because it's on the left side, so I use the right hand right here. I'd like to use this photo because the good thing for me is you can see the large intestine right here. I need to draw, so let's draw it. Okay, now, what I did is I put Ling Gu Da Bai Zhong Bai Yao Tong Fai, right? Remember Yao Tong Fai? Yao Tong Fai, you know, this is Ling Gu. 
And I also do Yao Tong Five. Where are the Yao Tong Fives? See, here you go. One here, one here, one here, and one here. Small intestine four. This is the Yao Tong Five, if you guys can see. Very clearly, you can see it on the in between the bones. Okay, so this is very important when you needle insert the needle. I do exactly the way for the first point right here. This one, this one. I do literally this way, literally this way. Okay, and go in to the carpal bones inside, carpal bones inside. So that will help the sacral iliac joint pain. Very important, you have to do that. If you go straight down, it's not gonna help. Has to go in like that. So that's the first thing that I do is Yao Tong Five. So you can see this is the Yao Tong Five. Then I added the Sensha. I primarily using Sensha sign near the bone. That's the center sand near the bone, all the way, go all the way down here. Okay, don't be scared. You can put the needles in this way. That will help a lot of gallbladder, meridian, lake, radiating pain, upper lake. This is my personal experience. You might have something different, but this is how I do it because the gallbladder is outside and the heart meridian is inside, right at the center sun. So once you put the needles in, you cover both, both the gallbladder and the heart, that you can treat the gallbladder and the heart. That you can use the heart and send you out to treat the gallbladder, double treatment. So I do really enjoy and use that. So that is how I put it in first, and then I make it move side to side to see how it is back pain. So back pain reduced right away reduced to very, very little. He has about six to seven, and then reducing to about two on the table in within three minutes, okay? Then I move on, ask him about his leg pain. He said his leg pain is much better, but the stomach area above the knee still have a little pain. Then I decided I need to move. I need to... Uh, so I decided I moved the treatment up to the elbow area. So let me take a photo of this so later we can post it online for you guys. So now we are going to move. To the shoulder here. And I will need to have some meat on the arm. So muscle, do I have the muscle? Okay, if not, I can do this. Here you go. Now I have this photo, you can see, that's the arm that I do. So I will put needle here, which is this large intestine right here, right? So I put needle here for two, but my needle almost touched the bone for here to cover the knee problem, to cover the knee, above the knee stomach pain. Then I ask him to move. He says, oh, much better. And uh, the problem right now is the bottom of the foot. So hip is better, upper legs better, and then the knee above the knee stomach's better. And then the lower leg is better, but the only problem right now is the bottom of the foot. So the bottom of the foot pain is right here. Can you see that? I took the photo for him. So the pain is right here on this bone and this bone area. So it will be the second toe and the third toe area that hurts. Then I go on to treat it right here. You can see I go all the way to the opposite hand. That was the left foot, this is the right hand. And I needle here because this is the second, this is the number one, two, three. One, two, three. And you can see here is one, two, three. 
So I pick right here and here, here, and treating right here, the bone and here. Did you see that? So two needles. This is the bone here. I needle here, and this is the bone here. I needle here. So you know that's how I insert the needles. So after this treatment, he's so much better. He has about the bottom of the foot is number one thing that annoying him. So after this treatment, he has a one day and a half. He can walk without bothered by the foot. I was very happy because he only want to come in once a week. So the week, so today I see him again. So what happened is I still do the same treatment, but the bottom of the foot is changing now. It changing to lower from this two area and now down to almost kidney one location. Okay, that means this two is feeling much better on the top. This two feeling better. And then went down to here now. What did I do? Now you can see this is how I put the needles in. I chase the pain, follow his instruction, the needle go down to here now. Still in between these two bones. Still in between these two bones. But I go down to here now. Do you see that? So that's the beauty of our treatment. After I did this needling, I went back. I must. I tried to squeeze his toe very, very hard and push it really hard. He says, you didn't push it hard enough to feel the pain. So that is about only about two, from two to zero pain, okay? So yes, when you insert the needle here, you will definitely need to put what? Touch the bone in there and then that will help. So now after today's treatment, I think I treated him about a treatment now, Sean, is that a treatment? About a treatment. So now I only gonna treat him once a week because I think he's already 80% better. I just need to clean his, the problem of the foot. So now you know how to treat the patient from the lower back down to the leg, and then the lower leg and the bottom of the foot. So this is typical people call sciatica problem, lower back pain, okay? After surgery, they're still not better. So that's why they need us to do this clean up for them. So I always tell them that, they will do the hardware, I will do the software, I will rewire your nerve and your pain to get it out of your system. So that's what I said to them. So they always come religiously until they have about 10% pain left, then I release them, they'll feel better. Then I will recommend once a month coming to get maintenance treatment so they're gonna feel a lot better continuously instead of have a major, major aggravation. So this is the case study that I'd like to share with you guys.